welcome to Wheels Up. I'm your host, Sierra. Today, we'll explore Philadelphia. Brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines. After our adventure, please join us as we do a very special craft with a very special person. And last, but certainly not least, we will wrap things up with a really fun game of trivia. Are you ready? Let's go on our adventure. Buckle your seatbelts. Here to kick us off is a very special representative from our friends at American Airlines. Welcome passengers. I'm American Airlines Customer Service Coordinator, Aria. Welcome on board our very special flight with service from the Sunrise Association and American Airlines to our wonderful destination. Today we will be landing in the city of Brotherly Love, also known as Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. On today's magical adventure, we will take a trip to Philadelphia, or Philly as the locals call it. We will learn all about Philly's importance in America's fight for independence, its famous landmarks, delicious local food, and so much more. So come on, let's board our American Airlines flight to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our exciting adventure awaits. Nicknamed the birthplace of America, Philadelphia is a living textbook of American history. In 1682, William Penn founded Pennsylvania and declared Philadelphia its capital. Philadelphia means brotherly love in Greek. William Penn chose this name because he envisioned a city where everyone would be welcomed no matter their beliefs. Philadelphia is the largest city in Pennsylvania and was the largest and most important city in America at the time of the American Revolution. Both the First and Second Continental Congress met in Philadelphia to discuss how to gain independence from the British. It was also in this legendary city that the Founding Fathers debated and signed the Declaration of Independence and later the U.S. Constitution, the two most important documents in American history at Independence Hall. First fun fact of the day! Before Washington, D.C. was established in 1800, Philadelphia served as the capital of the United States. Both President George Washington and President John Adams called the city home, residing in what was known as the President's House. Although the President's House was demolished in 1832, its foundations still remain. Visitors from all over the world come to see where the United States' first and second presidents lived. So cool! Next to the President's House is the Liberty Bell, a 2,000 pound copper and tin bell representing American freedom. Time to ring the fun fact bell. See what I did there? It is believed that the bell rang for the first time on July 8, 1776 to summon citizens to the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence. However, historians do not know if this is true. The biggest mystery for historians though is the origin of the giant crack that runs down the Liberty Bell. They cannot seem to agree on when the crack first appeared. But they do know when the bell last cracked, when it was rung to celebrate President George Washington's birthday on February 22, 1846. The damage was so bad that the bell never rang again. While the Liberty Bell is no longer in use, its message of liberty still rings true. Despite being one of America's oldest cities, Philadelphia is the ultimate kid-friendly destination. From the nation's first zoo to fun and exciting playgrounds, Philly has something for everyone. Founded in 1874, the Philadelphia Zoo is home to around 1,300 animals, many rare and endangered. It also has the world's only animal travel and exploration trail system, Zoo 360, which allows big cats and primates to move above and across the main visitor path. Imagine looking up and seeing a tiger or an orangutan walking above you. Now that is truly a sight to see. Another local favorite is the Smith Memorial Playground and Playhouse. Since 1899, the playground's enormous size has allowed kids to climb, bounce, swing, 
and slide to their heart's content in one of the many outdoor rooms. Explore the three-story Smith Playhouse, a 19th century mansion inspired playhouse filled with old-fashioned toys like dollhouses, play kitchens, and ride-on cars and trains. Wow, it looks like so much fun. Fun fact time. Philadelphia has one of the largest collections of public art. Beautiful murals cover buildings and stunning sculptures sit outside of museums and parks. My favorite is the Magic Gardens. Since the 1960s, creator Isaiah Zagar has devoted his life to beautifying Philadelphia's South Street neighborhood, where the Magic Gardens reside. He created 3,000 square feet worth of breathtaking mosaics using handmade tiles, bottles, bicycle wheels, and mirrors. Walking through the Magic Gardens is like being inside a vibrant and enchanting work of art. The experience is truly magical. If you loved the Magic Gardens, then you will definitely want to see Philadelphia's most well-known piece of public art, the Love Statue. You can find this giant statue in John F. Kennedy Plaza, better known as Love Park. The big red letters spelling out love will be sure to make anyone feel loved. Another must-see is the Rocky Statue. Originally created for a scene in the hit movie Rocky III, this landmark is an international favorite. Rocky Balboa fans gather at the bottom of the stairs at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, where the statue is located, to run up to the top, just like the movie's hero Rocky Balboa. Although getting up there is a workout, the breathtaking views of Philadelphia are worth the sweat. It is important to know that Philadelphians take food very seriously, especially Philly's most iconic staple, the cheesesteak. Invented in 1930, a Philly cheesesteak requires only thinly sliced beef, a crusty roll, and either provolone cheese, American cheese, or cheese whiz, depending on who you ask. While the Founding Fathers passionately debated over the creation of a new country, locals today debate over which is the best sandwich shop. The feud between Pat's King of Steaks and its rival Gino Steaks brings in thousands of visitors to determine who really is the King of Cheese Steaks. After stuffing your face with cheesesteak, Wash it down with a cup of water ice. Despite its name, water ice is not a glass of icy water, but finely shaved ice with syrup and fruit. It's equally as refreshing and the perfect summer treat. And no meal in Philly is complete without a dessert stop at Tasty Cakes. For the past 100 years, Tasty Cakes has satisfied Philadelphian sweet tooths with oh-so-tasty donuts, honey buns, cupcakes, and my favorite, Crimpets, which are fluffy sponge cakes. Mmm. Looking for more dessert? Add a scoop of ice cream from America's oldest ice cream shop, Bassett Ice Cream. It's been around since 1861. There are 39 delicious flavors to try. Bassett Ice Cream is definitely a must visit for ice cream lovers. You will not be disappointed. You can find Bassett Ice Cream in the Reading Terminal Market, where it's been located since the market first opened in 1892. For more than 120 years, Reading Terminal Market has been a staple of Philadelphia, and hungry visitors can't get enough of it! This historic indoor market boasts a variety of food options, including fresh produce, ice cream, baked goods, and oh so much more! With around 80 vendors, there truly is something for everyone. Try the pork roast sandwich at Denix. It's just as flavorful as the cheesesteak. Or pick up some apple dumplings from Dutch Eating Place, a family-owned restaurant best known for these yummy Amish treats. Which of these foods do you want to try? It's time to board our American Airlines flight for our trip back home. Until next time, bon voyage! Oh, that was so much fun and amazing! Time to get back on board our flight. Our next stop is crafting. Let's go! Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm so excited to do arts and crafts with you today. Today's video is all about Philadelphia, so today we're going to make a Liberty Bell craft 
and an eagle's pennant craft. I hope you have fun. Crafts with Wheels Up, Philadelphia, Project One, The Liberty Bell, Supplies Needed, Construction Paper, One Red Piece and One Brown Piece, A Paper Cut, Aluminum Foil, One Piece, Scissors, Markers, Crayons or Colored Pencils, and Glue. Project Two, Eagle's Pennant, Supplies Needed, Construction Paper, One Light Colored Piece and One Brown Piece, Scissors, Markers, Crayons or Colored Pencils, and Glue. So the first craft we are going to make is the Liberty Bell. And I'm using red and brown paper, and the red is going to be the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the part of the bell that it hangs on. So I'm going to take some glue, and I'm going to glue all across my brown paper so that I can roll it up. And I'm using red paper for my background and I'm going to add some blue decorations later on so that it's like red and blue like the American flag. So I, that's why I'm using red paper, but you can use whatever color you want for your background. Okay, so now I have all of my glue on and now I'm going to roll up my paper like this. And you might need some more glue at the very end so that it stays really well. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this on to the top of my red paper. So I'm gonna put some glue on and then I'm going to stick it on. And you might need to wait for your glue to dry a little bit so that it stays. But it's going to look like this. So now we are going to make the actual bell to go on our paper. So I'm going to take my paper cup and a scissor and I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm going to cut up the cup and then all the way across. And this is so that we can actually stick it onto our paper. Okay, so now I have my piece of the cup and now I'm going to cover it in tin foil. So I'm going to take some glue and put it on the cup. And this is because the Liberty Bell is really shiny. It's actually kind of gold, but it's okay. We're gonna make our silver. So now I'm going to put the tin foil onto my cup. And you might need to cut it a little bit so that it's the right size. But you can also just fold it inside of your cup so that it's a little bit easier. And this just looks like a regular bell, but we wanna make sure that you can tell it's the Liberty Bell. So the really special thing about the Liberty Bell is that it has a big crack in it. So that's what we're going to make now. So I'm going to start on the bottom of my cup and make a line going all the way up and it doesn't have to be a straight line. The crack in the Liberty Bell is actually pretty crooked and it goes like a zigzag. We're going to make a little line next to it so that it cuts a little piece out and so that you can really see it. Just like this. And now I'm going to glue this onto my paper. And if you want to glue it, you can you can fold back these little pieces, you can fold back these pieces and then put some glue on them so that it's easier to glue on. I actually might need to use some tape because I don't really have time for my glue to dry, but 
you have you can make sure that your glue is all the way dried so that it really sticks but I'm going to just use some tape so that I can show you guys what it looks like okay so this is what my Liberty Bell looks like and now we are going to decorate the paper so I'm going to use a blue crayon and I'm going to write Liberty Bell on the bottom I'm going to draw some stars like on the American flag. You can add whatever you want onto your paper. You can add whatever drawings you want, but that's what I'm going to add. So now I have my finished Liberty Bell craft. I hope you had fun making this with me. So the second craft we are going to make is an Eagles pennant and the Eagles are a football team in Philadelphia. So their colors are turquoise and black, but I'm going to use some blue paper for the actual pennant and some brown for the football. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to make a little handle for the pennant. So I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of my blue paper so that I can roll it up just a little bit. So now I have the handle, and now I'm going to cut the triangle for my pennant. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my paper and cut like this, and then back up to the top. Just like this, and now it looks like a pennant. Then we are going to make our football. So we want to make sure that it's not too big for the paper. So I'm going to draw it first. And I'm going to draw a shape like this and then another shape like that. Let me just, yep, it's the right size. And now I'm going to draw a line on the end and another line on the end and then two lines in the middle with some lines across for the lines on the football, just like this. Now I'm going to cut this out, and this is going to go in the middle of the pennant. I'm making mine a football, but you can also, I'm making mine like the Eagles themed, but you can also do a different sports team from Philadelphia if you want to also. Like if there's a baseball team or something that you want to do, you can cut out a baseball or whatever sport you like. Okay, so now I have my football glued on, and now I'm going to write Go Eagles on top. just like this. And this is my finished pennant, but you can add even more decoration, you can add more colors, or you can write Go Eagles, and you can also draw their logo. You can do whatever you want to make your pennant really cool, and you can even hang it up somewhere to decorate your room. I hope you had a lot of fun making these Philadelphia-themed crafts with me. I'll see you next time, bye! Wow! We had so much fun crafting with you! We are coming in for a landing to our final destination, an exciting trivia game. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. There will be four answers, but only one will be correct. Can you guess the right one? Well, come on! Let's play! Welcome to Wheels Up Trivia for Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. Question number one. Who founded Philadelphia? A. Abraham Lincoln B. George Washington 
C. William Penn or D. John Adams? Hmm, do you remember? The correct answer is William Penn. Question number two. What does Philadelphia mean in Greek? A. Brotherly love B. Cheese steak C. Liberty or D. Freedom The correct answer is brotherly love, though a cheese steak sounds really good right now. Question number three. Which of the following events took place in Philadelphia? A. The First Continental Congress B. The signing of the Declaration of Independence C. The signing of the United States Constitution or D. All of the above. Lots of historic events here. And they all took place in Philadelphia. Great job. Question number four. What special day was it when the Liberty Bell last rang? A. Polar Bear Plunge Day. B. George Washington's birthday. C. St. Patrick's Day. Or D. Albert Einstein's birthday. Oh, all really awesome days. But the Liberty Bell's last day that it rang was George Washington's birthday. Question number five. Which of the following cities is the current capital of the United States of America? A. Los Angeles. B. Seattle. C. Washington, D.C. Or D. New York City. Now this is the current capital. Which is C, Washington, D.C.? Question number six. During the American Revolution, Americans wanted their independence from the blank. Is that blank A, Russians, B, Canadians, C, British, or D, French? won an independence from the British. Great job. Question number seven. What does the Liberty Bell symbolize? A. Freedom. B. Happiness. C. Chocolate. Or D. Ice water. Hmm. Think about all the historic events that have happened around it. And you're right! A, freedom is the correct answer. Question number eight. Which of the following is a Philadelphia food staple? Which means it's very popular. A, a cheeseburger. B, cheesy popcorn. C, cheesesteak. Or D, mac and cheese. Oh goodness, do I love cheese. And the cheesesteak is a staple of Philadelphia. Yummy! Question nine. Where is the Rocky statue located? A, the roof of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. B, in front of Gino's Steaks. C, a spooky house. Or D, the bottom of the stairs at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And the correct answer is D. Da -na -na, na -na -na. And our final question, number 10. What year did the Reading Terminal Market first open? A, 1992. B, 2021. C, 1892. Or D, 1902. You won. Do you remember? Great memory, guys! 1892 is the correct answer. Thank you so much for playing trivia with me today. We'll see you next time for Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels Trivia. Yay! You did such a great job with games trivia. Thank you so much for tuning in on today's episode of Wheels Up. I had such a blast going on that adventure, crafting, and playing that fun game of trivia with you. 
you can tune into more Wheels Up episodes on our Sunrise Studios app. Downloadable on your mobile phones, iOS and Android, also your Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. We can't wait to see you on our next flight with Wheels Up, brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines. Bye!